How's it going everyone? I'm Isle. Some more StarCraft 2 coming up for you today. It is a best of three series. First of all, we have our Zerg player, a very, very exciting player. He is Bly. His opponent is our Protoss player. This is Royal Blood, by the way, the map. But our Protoss player is Max Pax. Now, a year ago, this would have been a very interesting game. I mean, it still is. Because Max Pax used to be super cheesy, super aggressive, used to do way out things. Bly has been known to do that for a long time, as we can see here. This drone, this drone is up to no good. It's about to cause some nonsense. Now, it's going to be hard to say because, Ma oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> This is, this is Bly. I don't think he ever builds his hatchery on location. He just, he just places it in proxy locations. Just because, why not? Max Pack's not over panicking. He's got the second gateway coming up. Another pylon. And he's not pulling any more workers. Okay, so the normal response is to make a single zealot. There's a cyber core, and then pull four probes. <laughs> Bly decides to take his third base at the gold. Oh, you gotta love Bly. He, he plays such fun StarCraft, I can't help but smile when I watch his games. But this double gateway, surely that's gonna mean that... Max Pax is going to get aggressive behind this, right? Oh, I love this. So interesting. So the hatchery is going to finish right now. Before I can talk a little bit more about this place. Okay, anyway, double adept coming up. The two zealots are going to start hacking away. Nothing is being made here. So this is just a quite an expensive delay um, of the natural. Yeah. This is, this is Bly in a nutshell, this is what he does. Now, normally, he can get a lot of stuff done with these wacky builds of his. But I'm a bit nervous for him because... Oh, nice. Trying to use the, uh, the broodlings to get rid of the zealots, but uh, Max Pax, he's two steps ahead. Gets the zealots in a good position and he just loses some shields. Ooh, Zergling's gonna go in the main. Um, but yeah, Bly's wacky builds, normally I would have said, would do a lot against a uh, good micro on the probes there. Okay, one more does go down. A couple of adepts are over here. Yeah. So, Max Pax has found that gold quite early. The Zerglings are going to give the Zealots the run around. While the adepts get chased away by the Queen. Small caller. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, so his builds would have done more damage, done a lot of damage normally. But Max Pax has gotten so good recently. Like, Max Pax is just getting better and better every time he plays. Um, yeah, and as he's getting older, as he's playing more, his skills are really improving drastically. So yeah, at this stage, Zealots and three Adepts. They are, they're shutting this gold base down really hard. Fourth Adept comes in. In terms of losses, six drones, a lot of Zerglings and a Queen and a Hatch. Um, but yeah, Zergling speed is finished. So we see Zerglings coming from all over to try to deal with this. I don't, ah, uh, that's a lot of Zerglings. Yeah, the Adepts are going to shade. The Queen is out. That's actually really good timing. Okay, the Adepts are going to get out and this base does stay up. I love the way these two players play. Max Pax honestly has become really, really good. I cannot wait and I'm really hoping that he's going to be joining one of the offline events soon. Because online he's so good but we still know so little about him it's an uh, uh glaive the depth ball, by the way um so yeah i'd love to see what he can do oh, i like this 
Adepts coming in at the back. It's gonna delay the mining. Yeah, these Adepts can get rid of the Queen. Uh, Queen's gonna retreat. This is gonna leave Bly in a very funny spot. He's sending a bunch of Lings across. There is a wall. And we've got an extra pylon. We've got another extra pylon coming up here. Max Pack's really just making a good wall over here. Yeah, that's gonna chase the Zerglings away. At the same time, Bly is st oh, well, Max Pax is still here getting rid of this base. And this is essentially a two base Protoss versus a one base Zerg. And he's really going all in with his links. Ooh, it's gonna be a Baneling bust. Ooh, I love that. Um, if Max Pax isn't careful, because this is a lot of links. Here we go. Baneling's going in. Okay, Zerglings, you're in the way. Okay, good, good, good. Players moving them. Fantastic force field. Ooh, that's a clutch force field to keep those banings out. But yeah, Bly's just gonna go full on aggressive here. Okay, round two, he's gonna try again. Banelings get in. Oh, they get some good connections. But once again, a decent force field. The rest of the Adepts are coming home. The Zerglings are trying to catch them, but some good Warp Prism Micro to pick some of them off and save them. Um, no, this is not enough. Max Max holds. Yeah, Max Max holds comfortably. That is some seriously good defense. Max Max is absolutely a solid player. And the thing about Bly is, his builds don't make sense, but that's what makes it so tricky. Because he's very hard to prepare against. Because he just does crazy things like this. This is going to be a bit of a problem now because there are a whole bunch of adepts that are going to be going in. We have a Dark Shrine coming up behind this. Fly is getting a bunch of Banelings to help defensively. I don't know if it's going to be enough because the Adepts shade in. Banelings are going to explode. Uh, but the splits are pretty decent. And uh, there's still five Adepts. More warping in. GG is cool. Max Pax takes game number one. Our second game is starting over on the map, Babylon. And we'll see if Bly's got some more trickery up his sleeve. So far, Max Pax is in the lead. Um, one to zero. This is match point. Bly really has to make something happen. Um, yeah, if he wants to get something out of this series. This is... Is this just going to be a normal hatchery? What, what is this madness? Where did Bly go? He's not proxying his hat. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. No. A natural in a normal position. All right, someone changed out. This isn't Bly anymore. This is not Bly. <laughs> he is still going to do something strange. I just know it. I just know it. Um, yeah, so far though, Gateway on the low ground, Max Pax is going to be happy to play a normal game. Ah, I love the, I love the player arc, I was confused as to what that was, um, of Max Pax though. Because really, if you go back, I want to say literally like a year, Max Pax was very much like parting and has just cheese I mean potting potting is a bit different potting I, I love potting's play but it, it, he just used to play a lot of cheese and just the void ray proxy stargate with void rays and shield batteries that type of rush and he was doing a lot of that stuff and now when you look at him he he plays just normal protoss not normal he plays it really well. Like, I would love to see him against Hero and things like that because he's, his play is looking that good. I think on the rankings now, he's actually the number one Protoss in the world. Definitely the number one European Protoss. Um, but yeah, Max Pax is playing just amazing StarCraft. 
couple of Zergings sneaking around. Sneaking around on this side too. Yeah, it's actually really cool to watch. And I think give him a year or two. If Starcroft is still around by then. But anyway. Give him a year or two. And hopefully he's going to be on off at offline events. He's going to be winning some stuff. He is a absolutely classy player. No way. The third base? Is that a normal location? Nope. Not Bly. Confirmed. Definitely not Bly. <laughs> but yeah. Bly is a good player. He is... Just because he plays cheesy, uh, that doesn't mean he's, a, he's not a good player. But, he's up against it. Bunch of workers being pumped out now. It's going to be Glaive the Depths once again. So, Max back this time. Just trying to get this game over and done. He's like, you want to do funny things to me? Cool, I'm just going to kill you in this game. Normal timing on the Roach Warren. Oh, Bly's just playing normal. He's going to have to make sure he's got enough to defend against this. Because these are sharper depth timings. They're not as common as they used to be. But um, definitely still very, very strong. There's no third base yet. The Overlord is seeing this. Bly is going in to have a look now. Overlord's going to be pretty safe because there's no stalkers out here. Yeah, there's a single stalker which is probably going to you know, start moving up. There it goes. Alright, so Bly did see it. He sees there's something researching. He's going to be making a lot of roaches. And actually, he could be... He could be quite safe here. That being said, he's still going to out-control and out-micro Max Packs. Who is very solid. Here comes the Adept. Three going into... Well, no, he's not going to finish it. Sees the roaches. Yeah, that should put... Uh, that should put Bly in a relatively safe position. Because the risk, and this has always been the risk with these Adept builds, is if you go in for an attack and you lose your Adept, you are so vulnerable. Ooh, nice pick off here. You're very vulnerable to the Zerg counter attack. And at this stage, I mean, these Adepts can't deal with these Roaches. Getting a whole bunch more deaths. There are Zerglings on the way though. Yeah, Roaches, uh, Roaches are not a bad unit. I love the Disruptor behind this. I think this is brilliant. Because where the um, Adept is not very good against the Roaches, the, uh, the Disruptor is amazing against it. At this stage, Max Pax just needs to delay to delay the attack. He needs to make sure the Zerg does not come to his door. That's a lot. 20 more links, 7 more roaches on the way. Bly is going for some seriously strong attacks. But there is a Disruptor. Debs get caught outside. I worry about this base. Now Max Pax is actually going to go defend it. He doesn't have much of an army though. Bly is doubling his count in the army department. But here goes the disruptor. Nah, that base gets cancelled. Ten more workers coming out from Bly. So Bly is now trying to get himself ahead. While he's ahead, might as well get more ahead. Ooh. Good splits, good splits. Gets a couple. A Ravager and some uh, roaches. I think there was about two that went down. Lies just gonna pull back. I think this is the right move. Economically, he's ahead. He's got more bases, and they're decently saturated. His worker count is still a little bit lower than I think it should be. Oh, big hits on those workers. That's the second game where I'm casting disruptor drops, by the way. Uh, the Protoss players have uh, really started to enjoy the disruptor drops once again. More disruptors coming out, and now we see stalkers and blink. I think the changeover to stalkers is good. Adepts fall off really hard, and at this point, it's not like um, it's not like Max Pack. Ooh, ooh, he's got prism speed. 
Look at that zoomy boy. Um, I don't know what I was saying. It was good though. It was very good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stalkers, another disruptor. They are gonna link up here. Warping in some more. This is gonna be a scary attack to try to hold because one good disruptor shot can really uh, set the pace of this battle. Depths are shading forward. I doubt they'll finish. There goes the first disruption over. Okay, good micro. Oh, that's a big hit. That's a very big hit. Fly using it now just to zone. The depths. The depths are going to finish their shade. Fly is jumping on top of the disruptors, but good war prism micro. The adepts are in the main base though, which means they're going to start getting rid of these workers. That's three going down so far. The queens are pulling back to defend. Oh, hang on. I gotta go back for that one. I gotta go back for that one. I'm sorry. Okay, so the adept went through. They're in the main. That went back a little bit further than I wanted to, but I just saw the end of that explosion. Okay, so the adepts are busy in the main. Yeah, he drops it. Oh. 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 That is painful. Fly, unfortunately, not able to micro on both screens. And um, taking insane losses to those two disruptors. That was a massive chunk of his supply. Oh, once again. Max Pack's being absolutely dangerous with these disruptors. He's getting so much value. I want to see the kills. Drop them. I want to see the kills. Max Pack's drop them. Drop it. Drop it. Why are you not dropping it? Okay, here he goes. Drops. 10 on that one. 10 on the other one. A couple more workers going down. Picks off and... Zoomy Boy is out of there again. So much value. And now Max Pax has a comfortable worker lead. We're getting a Tunning Claws as well as Burrow. So Bly is going to be trying to sneak a couple of roaches in and around the uh, base of the Protoss. Stalker's moving forward. They're trying to clear some creep. But yeah, this game is... Uh, this game's shaping up to be a much better one. We are now... Comfortably pro progressing through the mid game. A ton of ravages on the way. Charge at plus one is being researched, but there are archons now. There is an immortal, and Max Pax is on the attack. Here comes the disruptors once again. Oh, good splits. Much better splits there. Once again. Oh, that's a big hit. Yep. This is dangerous. I believe Max Pax is just comfortably going to be taking this one with some amazing disruptor control. Absolutely amazing. Blinking forward right on top of those ravages. GG! Max Pax takes the series 2-0. But that was really a fun one. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, make sure to like, press the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more StarCraft content. I do ladder games and I do uh, casting as well as a couple of shorts here and there. And on the weekends I have Ladder Heroes. Which is games from people that watch the YouTube channel. So yeah. Any of those if you're interested. If you also want to see more StarCraft. Make sure to tune in to my Twitch. It is Twitch at ILK. Slash ILK. Um, anyway. I hope you have an amazing week further. It is Wednesday. You're getting there. Hold in. And I will see you in the next one.